What's happening? Dustin here with Dustin's Customs and today I'm going to try to put the car on the ground and see if all these turbo pipes that I got is actually going to work. I'm wondering how low it is and if I uh, did I waste any time. I'm pretty sure the one that's up front I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to bend it up and go a different route but if the one that goes under the K-member looks like it's going to clear for normal driving circumstances I'm gonna continue on. Okay, before we set it on the ground, this is what we're working with. Uh, you can watch my other videos to see how it all goes together. Okay, I had to open the shop bays. All that creaking is normally why I keep them closed, but it, holy shit, I need air conditioning. I got some air conditioner, like industrial unit over there. Definitely gotta be this summer project. Damn, that door's annoying. Anyways, the car is on the ground for the first time in a long time. This is the moment for the truth. The first time I've looked under the car with how I routed the piping, this is kind of the make or break look. If I don't think it's gonna clear, damn, I'm gonna have to save the money and just buy one. All right, let's take a look. All right, here goes nothing. Holy shit. Okay, that pipe's pretty low. We're definitely gonna have to do something different. That's about three inches off the ground. So, I will not be final welding this piece right here. I need to figure out a way to get that up in the air a little better. Back here though, this pipe, that's a kind of uh, where I thought it was going to be. So I may flatten that pipe a little and uh, just a little, not like I flattened the test piece. but. Everything looks good here. Okay, so it is kind of low. Everything over here, that's not too bad. As you can see, that is pretty low right there. Um, so we're gonna have to rethink from here forward a little bit. And I kind of already have an idea of what I'm gonna do. See right here is where the on three would go through there with the tubular K-member. I'm um, kind of thinking I need a tubular K-member to build my own, but in reality, it's still, it's like three inches from the ground. There's still two and a half, three inches right here. And if I can kink that up a little, um, bend it up a little, I think that would be okay. Okay, so, trying to get some light. I left my light. Where that goes down and bends down there, where you can see that. There are bends right there, it's not connected. That pipe, I'm gonna have to go a different route and kind of angle it up. As you can see, that pipe comes up to the turbo around. And that right there is what we're working with. So it's not welded right here yet. And that pipe back there, I'm gonna bend up and then And then right here, I'm gonna go up where that needs to be. I'm gonna go straight up there, over and around to that. Instead of this, I'm gonna go like this. 
and uh, I think we'll have clearance. I mean, I could leave it like that. I mean, it would work. It's just, it's just not high enough for me to be comfortable. It's just, I mean, it's close, but it's just not exactly where I think it should be. I mean, I could leave it like that, but if I were to hit something, it's going to rip the shit out of my exhaust system. So, um, yeah, just going to bend it up right after the K-member. Just going to sit here and admire. This is the first time this car has been on the ground in almost six months. And you can see it is pretty low to the ground with the Eibach Sport lines. Um, not a whole lot of wheel gap. But the thing is dirty as heck. Uh, everyone's talking crap about these American muscle banners. So I've actually been thinking about taking it off. Mine's black so you really can't see it. And another thing you can't really see is these iBox stickers I got on there. I'll tell you the sticker I really like. I actually like the way these iBox stickers look. But anyways. Let me get some light so we can take another glance at it. Turbo. Piping, you know, goes down to my V-band. Okay, everybody, so as you can see, I got a little more work to do. I'm gonna 45 it up right after that K-member, bring it up over. So I got, you know, I don't know, another, for me, it's gonna be another week or two to get that done because I gotta go out of town on Monday. So Sunday, tomorrow, I'm gonna spend most of the day getting ready to go out of town. Therefore, I probably, the most I'll do is get this car back up on blocks. I really need a lift. I think I have the ceiling space for a lift, but you know that is money. And right now with this epidemic, uh, things are gonna slow down, especially for me, I'm hoping I can maintain all my hours and I'm sorry for anybody that's going through anything or may have lost their job or been laid off I am really hoping that doesn't happen to me. It would be devastating to me Just as much as it would to anyone else um, But yeah, like I said, I still got a lot to do. We still got a fuel system to do um, We got to do intercooler and cold piping. I really think this is actually gonna work It's I got some fine tweaking to do but I think it's gonna work and this time it's just a lot more simpler, a lot better free-flowing exhaust for the turbo. Still got to buy a new turbo. May rebuild this one. Not quite sure yet, but I, I really think it's going to work. Like I said, 45 after the K-member go up, redo some uh, of those 90s, feed it back into where this turbo sits, and I think we're good. So I want to thank you all for watching. This has been Dustin's Customs with just a little update on what's going on with the car and as you can see I got some work to do I'm gonna go ahead and get this car back up on blocks and uh, maybe next video I'll have that turbo spinning again anyways I'm Dustin this is Dustin's customs and I'll see you later bye